the greatest desire of New Testament Christians was to receive the Holy Spirit. It equipped them for their new life in Jesus, having Jesus in them, His Spirit comforting, guiding and teaching them. Through the Holy Spirit dwelling in them, they could pray in the Spirit in tongues, mysteries according to the will of God. They could be edified in their spirit while having the Spirit of God making supplication to God through them. They could experience the presence of God, Emmanuel, Christ in them at all times by praying in the Spirit. Not only could they edify themselves, but also other believers, through the Holy Spirit manifesting through them by gifts of prophecy, healing, miracles, word of knowledge, tongues, with interpretation, word of wisdom, as the Spirit willed. Those who do not have the Holy Spirit cannot function in nor be part of the body of Christ. The modern day secular church does not have the Holy Spirit. It is just a religious club, an institution, run and controlled by men. Its members are not part of the Kingdom of God. They do not have the Holy Spirit and do not belong to Jesus. Neither do they follow Him. The born-again followers of Jesus desire, crave, hunger and thirst for Jesus, His Holy Spirit. Their only desire is to be led by the Holy Spirit and be pleasing to Jesus. The more we seek Him, the more He will dwell in us and manifest through us. Many received the Holy Spirit some years ago, spoke in tongues, and then they stopped. Streams of living water must continue to flow through us, but we need to desire, keep praying, and stay in communion with Jesus. We cannot bear fruit for the Kingdom of God if we do not stay in Christ, abiding in the vine. Without Jesus we can do nothing. His Spirit must dwell in us and flow through us. Have we received the Holy Spirit? Do we worship in spirit and in truth? And are we led by the Holy Spirit? May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.